it is now my pleasure to introduce today's student-selected faculty speaker. He is a beloved member of Stuyvesant's math department, and it's hard to mention his name without his catchphrase, math is number one. Please help me in welcoming Mr. Richard Geller. Ms. Surrey, assistant principals, my colleagues of the faculty, parents, guests, and the Stuyvesant High School graduating class of 2011. I would like to thank the graduating class for having chosen me as your faculty speaker. I think it is time for the third time to thank the entire staff of Stuyvesant High School for teaching you, guiding you, helping you during and after school, and writing your college recommendations, and passing you. Will all the colleagues, my colleagues, of the faculty and staff please stand up so that the graduating class and their parents can acknowledge us. When the senior president and vice president told me that I was the chosen faculty speaker, I wondered, why me? I have been teaching math at Stuyvesant for 29 years and was never chosen before. By the way, 29 is a prime number. <laughs> there are exactly two factors of 429, 1 and 29. Maybe I was chosen for the approximately five basketballs that I confiscated from students during your four years at Stuyvesant. Or the 17 Frisbees I took away. Or the 113 decks of playing cards. Or the 257 cell phones I took away and brought to Ms. Damasek's office. In case you haven't figured it out, all those numbers are prime numbers. Or maybe you wanted to hear me say one more time, off the fourth floor, one, two, or five, not four. <laughs> no, I don't think so. I think that you heard three months ago that I have metastasized melanoma cancer in my lungs, and that you either had me as a math teacher or heard of me and wanted to honor me for my passion for teaching math. I think you also respect me for requiring you to behave as adults, and you rarely disappointed me. Thank you for honoring me. Ten days ago, I found out that the experimental drug that I am taking is working, and that the melanoma <laughs>
and that the melanoma cancer in my lungs has decreased. I hope it continues to decrease. Even through all my problems, the best part of my day is teaching math. I have been teaching math for 43 years. Another prime number. <laughs> and still love it. I got lucky. I found a career that I really love. If you have been in my math class, you know that I love the beauty and logic of math and love teaching it. When I was in high school, I never thought of being a teacher. I became a teacher to avoid fighting in the Vietnam War. <laughs> a war I very much opposed. I had a teacher in a junior high school that had students who were underprivileged to avoid being drafted. That junior high school is only nine blocks from this theater. I was not a very good teacher in my first year and had problems controlling my classes. During subsequent years, I got better at controlling classes and really enjoyed teaching students math. In junior high school, I became involved in the math team and enjoyed teaching advanced problem-solving techniques to the team. The team members interacted with each other very well, and many great friendships developed. Teams are special. The members of a team become like a family. When I got to Stuyvesant High School in 1982, Teams were important and doing well. The chess team and the debate teams were first in the state. The boys' fencing team won the city championship. In 1982, there were 22 sports teams. By the way, 22 is not a prime number. It is a composite number because it has more factors. It has four factors. One, 22, two, and 11. You will be tested on this later. <laughs> Three decades later, and here we are. Teams are now even more special at Stuyvesant High School. There are now 37 sports teams. This year, the boys cross country, the boys swimming, the boys fencing, the girls swimming, and the girls golf teams all won city championships. In 1982, there were nine students on the debate team. Now under the leadership of Ms. Scheinman, there are 180 students on the speech and the debate team. They won a first place in overall school sweepstakes at nearly every tournament they attended this year. I congratulate all those teams for a great year. However, the best team at Stuyvesant High School is the math team. In 1982, there were 55 math team students. Now, are there, now there are 241 students, another prime number. I was the head coach of the math team at Stuyvesant for over 20 years. Many of the students still are friends long after they left Stuyvesant. I know of at least one math team marriage. 
They live a few blocks from Stuyvesant and have two children. Two is another prime number. In fact, it is the only even prime number. A few years ago, Mr. Kokoros became the head coach. I am now an assistant coach. This year, the team came in first in the state competition, first in the ninth grade continental math league competition, first in the city in the junior and sophomore divisions. The senior teams were fantastic this year. For the first time ever, the senior teams came in first and second in the citywide fall competitions, and first, second, and third in the citywide spring competitions, which proves that the math team is number one. <laughs> this is a fraction of what the senior class has accomplished. During this year, this senior's class had pajama day, beach day, video game character day, sweatpants day, hippie day, twin day, sports jersey day, sty spirit day, college apparel day, nerd day, and tie day. But I have one question. What happened to Math Day? <laughs> and of course, we cannot forget that you, the seniors of 2011, won Sing as juniors and then won Sing as seniors. a feat rarely accomplished by Stuyvesant senior classes. The senior class of 1983, my first year at Stuyvesant, also accomplished that feat. You have accomplished a lot during your four years at Stuyvesant. This graduation ceremony should be very special to you. Many of the people around you will be lifelong friends. So enjoy your special day today. I have been to many junior high school and high school graduations as a teacher, and even my own graduations. However, the most important graduations for me were my children's graduations. That is because for me, my family is number one. Yes, I am a parent of a son and a daughter. Teachers do it too, you know. <laughs> Only when I attended my own children's graduations did I realize how special parents find graduation. My daughter actually graduated Stuyvesant in 1983. So give your parents a break today. Thank them for everything they have done for you. Let them take lots of pictures. Spend time with them. Let them enjoy it. In fact, please stand up, turn around, face your parents, I have some homework for you. 
Assignment number one, volunteer. Give back to your family, give back to your community. Tutor for free, help out at your church, synagogue, or mosque. Volunteer to help a political candidate. Help your parents clean the house or apartment. Make dinner, babysit. Say thank you. Give up your subway seat to someone who is elderly or disabled. Think of others. We tend to think only of ourselves too often. We should always be thoughtful and compassionate to others. Assignment number two. Find a career that you enjoy as much as I enjoy teaching math. You will spend at least one third of your life at work. And it is important that you enjoy that part of the day. And that career doesn't have to do with math, the number one subject. You will be much happier with your life if you enjoy your job. And if your parents don't like what you choose, that is their problem, not yours. <laughs> when they see you happy in your life, they will be happy for you too. My children decided not to go into math. However, they have found careers that they enjoy and I am thrilled and very proud of them. Uh, assignment number three. Is 2011 a prime number? I have loved being part of your four years of Stuyvesant. I have enjoyed watching you grow physically, mentally, and mathematically. Thank you for a great four years. Enjoy college, find a rewarding career, remember to help others, and become the greatest and happiest senior class of Stuyvesant High School ever. I leave you with the following words.